Hey guys, Steve from Badger Outdoors here. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Go check out some of my other videos. And uh, that being said, let's get into it. So today's video is going to be a little bit of an unboxing. I just got back from Cabela's actually. And I'm looking for a new brand of bait casting reels. So I've always been a Fluger person, a Fluger guy. And uh, it's come to my attention that they are kind of going away from bait casting reels now. Um, so if you look at Cabela's website or Tackleware, Cabela's doesn't even sell Fluger bait casters anymore. And uh, Tackle Warehouse only has one available and so does the Fluger website. So that's leading me to believe that uh, they are going away with the bait casters and uh, focusing on spinning reels more. So um, it's kind of a bummer, but uh, I was in the market for a new bait caster and uh, I kind of did some research and I, what I landed on is this guy right here, which is the Shimano um, SLX and this is the 151 XG, which is a left hand. I don't know, I'm weird, I'm actually right handed, but the way bait casters are set up, I do prefer um, left hand setups for uh, whatever reason, I think, cause I like to use my uh, right hand as my control hand and my left hand is my, just, just the way I like it. Um, but I, I never really got into the whole switching hands. I do have right-handed uh, bait casters, but uh, if I can, I'll get the left hand. Um, same way with when I shoot like uh, guns and stuff like that. I'm left eye dominant, so I do have to shoot left-handed um, guns and uh, bows even. So uh, um, I just kind of stick with, I'm pretty comfortable left-handed now. So I like my uh, bait casters left-handed too. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing here. This guy retails for $99.99. I wanted to stay in that $100, below $100 range. Um, I'm a little bit frugal when it comes to my uh, fishing gear. I don't want to spend a huge amount of money if I don't have to. And if I can find quality for a decent price, I'm going to jump on it. So like I said, $99.99, um, not too bad. Um, keeps you under $100. Bucks. I did order a... Uh, uh, rod to go along with this. It's uh, on its way now. I ordered a 7.2. I did the Shimano uh, Celis rod. I had uh, the spinning rod. I just got um, the spinning rod and I did a video on that actually. If you want to check that out, I'll leave that in the description. Go check out that review. Um, I haven't got um, this rod yet. It's like I said, it's on its way. So uh, um, I got a 7.2 medium heavy. I'm going to be using this as like a uh, jig um, flipping and pitching uh, setup. So um, looking forward to getting the whole whole thing set up and are ready to go. As you can see, it is still um, February here in Wisconsin. So uh, take a look outside. This is what we have we're, we're working with. Kind of bright out today. So it's going to be um, a little while before uh, I get out there on some open water. But uh, thankfully, Wisconsin just switched their uh, their um, regulations so you can actually bass fish um all year round um before they used to have a uh, season you can um, well you could unintentionally catch bass uh before the season opener which is the first weekend in may um but you weren't supposed to target bass but they just switched that i think last year so now you can fish um for bass all year round um between that um the end of I think the season ended in like March and then April you couldn't bass fish and then May you could start again. It was weird. I don't know why they did that. A lot of states around here don't do that, but they finally switched it so you can target bass. You just have to catch and release um, them, but that's cool now that you can do it. So one of the best times I think in Wisconsin to get out on the water is when that first ice melts, which is usually April time period. is usually a, a pretty good time to be throwing some lipless crankbaits around and uh, catch some uh, pre-spawn uh, uh, big gals. Um, so, uh, it's going to be a while before I can actually get out here and use that, but I will, uh, be doing a, a follow-up video, uh, as soon as I get that possibility to do that. So I'm just going to kind of open it up here without further ado. So basic comes with your instructions, um, like any other schematic drawing or whatever. Uh, I don't know what this is, but please cast control knob. Uh, just some more directions. And then we got the actual reel itself. 
First off, never bought a Shimano, Shimano reel before. Uh, pretty fancy with the bubble wrapping. I've never had a reel come in bubble wrapping before. It's usually just a plastic um, bag that it comes in. So fancy, fancy with the bubble wrap here. A uh, little extra protection. But uh, here is the reel itself. So like I said, it is left hand. So it the retrieve will be on your uh, left hand retrieve, kind of like a spinning reel. Um, I did get the, the, what is this again? It's the eight, eight, two to one ratio. Um, like I said, it's left-handed. So it's, uh, the 151 XG because it is a left-handed, that, cha that number changes depending on right hand retrieves and stuff like that. And, uh, gear ratios, it's a three to one, three plus one ball bearing system. It's got 11 pound maximum drag on it. And, uh, the weight is... 6.9 ounces so not too heavy um not not a huge bait caster but uh um feels pretty good and then the line capacity is uh 10 pounds at 120 yards or braid 30 pounds at 135 yards and then you have since it is an eight two to one gear ratio it's going to be 32 inches per spin of the knob here so um kind of take a look at it a little bit closer here uh it's got the must have some tropical uh, braking system, I'm assuming. Uh, it's got the little release down here for the side plate. So let's pop that open quick. And it just kind of, it's kind of nice. I know the Fluger, the one, the Fluger, some of the Fluger, uh, they got the C-Lock, which they don't make anymore, obviously, because they don't do Fluger bait casters anymore. Um, it was kind of a pain to get that C-Lock off and then pop it off. This guy, you just hit the switch here and it pops right up pretty nice so yeah it does have the centrifugal braking system which i don't mind um i it doesn't really matter too much to me it's a little bit easier to have the magnetic um braking because you got the little knob on the side that you can do but once you got these things uh, dialed in you really don't have to mess with them too much so really easy removing that side plate though it's just then to close it you just switch that little switch right back and you're good to go um it's got the black and blue color scheme. So what I like is the Celis rod that I ordered. It actually has the same blue color to it. So it should match up pretty well. Not like that's like super important, but uh, it's a little thing sometimes. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty much the same same color blue. So it should match pretty well. Um, I do like the color scheme of it. It's not a huge bait caster. Um, so it feels pretty pretty snug in your hand. Um, you got your star star drag here and then your tension knob right here so like i said i'm looking forward to uh getting out on the water and uh trying that out um oh i should be able to throw throw some uh, jigs around early spring is usually a pretty good time for jigs too so um like i said it's 100 or 99 dollars, so 100 bucks um so it's not bad uh i guess the whole the whole point of this specific reel they do have a uh more expensive model that's like a hundred dollars more almost um but this was supposed to be a uh a reel to kind of give you a uh higher quality feel with uh, a, a manageable price to it so just like the Celis rod um i've heard a lot of good things about those two uh they're supposed to be a, a pretty good quality reel and and not um a whole lot of money they're they're 50 bucks for uh for that rod and uh yeah so um that's that's not too bad for uh for a whole combo 150 bucks not too bad i know shimano's got a a pretty pretty big history when it comes to fishing they're a pretty dependable brand um the grips are just that rubber rubber grips um feel pretty good uh yeah so like i said i just wanted to to kind of do an unboxing and uh show you show you what it's all about um interesting though it does not have a lot of the spools have uh the holes in it so you can kind of put your fishing line in there and spin it around this one doesn't have that which is, i've never seen that before um so that's kind of interesting but uh yeah so i kind of wanted to get a new new reel um not spend a lot of money on it this got pretty good reviews on uh some of the websites that i've been looking at too uh cabela's it has like 
21 five-star reviews. And of course, there's always going to be those negative Nancys that give it the one star. But there's only two of those, so that's not too bad. And I got a, good, a lot of good reviews on some other uh, on uh, some other websites I looked at too. So if you're in the market for uh, a new bait caster, maybe go check it out. If you already have that, have it. Leave it in the comments. Uh, let me know how you like it. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited for the snow to melt. They get out on the water, but I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. So I'm kind of going crazy, but I'll, I'll make it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did like today's video, if it was helpful at all. And uh, go check out some of my other videos. Um, and I hope you stay tuned in the future. And hopefully I will be out on the water soon. So hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. See you later.